Hi, this is Dr. Biklavenu coming in front of you uh, in continuation to my previous content, uh, chapter CNC part programming. Uh, in our last session, we have seen the example problems related to the uh, part programming, uh, facing operation we have seen, then uh, simple plane turning we have seen, then similarly, we have seen step turning part programs. In today's session, we will see the tapper turning along with the step turning. How to write a part program and what are the G codes and M codes used to write and what will be the approach to write a part program to turn uh, tapper turning as well as the step turning. And let us take one example to see the part program, how we can write and what are the G codes and M codes used to write and what will be the approach to write part program for the uh, tapper turning as well as the step turning. So let us take one example and uh, I will read out the example here. So write a CNC part program to mission a component as shown in figure. So which consists the tapper turning as well as the plane turning. So in this case, you can see here, uh, part program to mission a component of 20 mm diameter bar stock of length 36 millimeters. The total length of the bar stock is 36 millimeters and uh, the diameter is 20 millimeters. But whereas when you compare the length of the bar stock given in the problem is 36 and the in the figure the length is 35 so that we need to face the operation for a length of one millimeters. That means we need to reduce the diameter by one millimeter in overall length. So using some cutting parameters, so those are also mentioned in the problem. So spindle speed is 2500 RPM. This spindle speed should be considered and in this problem is not mentioned whether this spindle speed is for plane turning or tapper turning so that uh, he mentioned only one spindle speed. So we can use the same speed for tapper turning as well as the plane turning. In our problem, if they specify us to use the different speeds for tapper as well as plane turning, we have to use different speeds while writing the prog uh, program. Then in the problem, it is also mentioned that the feed rate is 0 0.5 millimeters per revolution for rough cut and 0 0.1 millimeters for revelation for finish cut. Some amount of material will be removed uh, using more depth of cut. And after that, finally, we will take the final cut wherever the surface is exposed. Uh, that will be taken as the final cut. And similarly, so the that feed rate, the final feed rate, is 0 0.1 millimeters per revelation. Per revelation, the tool is going to advance 0 0.1 millimeters for finish cut. In the case of rough cut, the tool is going to advance 0 0.5 millimeters per revelation. So for revolution, the tool is going to advance so and so distance that is called the feed rate. So these two are mentioned individually. The rough cut value is different then finish cut value is different both we need to consider individually while writing the program in this problem is mentioned only one speed during rough cut as well as finish cut that is only one speed that we need to consider in both the cases similarly is also mentioned the depth of cut is limited to three millimeters in any of the case whether it is rough cut finish or the finish cut rough cut or finish cut in both the cases the depth of cut should not ex exceed three millimeters whatever the value that value should be below three millimeters depth of cut so considering these cutting parameters so we move forward to write cnc part program so before writing the part program uh, let us try to see the geometry first the overall length given in the problem is 36 millimeters. But in the drawing, it is 35 millimeters. Hence, we can take 
one millimeter as facing. We need to reduce the diameter of one mm length in an overall length of 36 millimeter to bring the object or component to 35 millimeters. So the plane turning in this case is 15 millimeters. Then taper turning length is five millimeters. The remaining length is 15. So overall 35. So our origin is exactly lies at the 36 millimeters length bar initially. Then we need to phase the operation. We need to perform the phasing operation to reduce one mm length. That means we need to move backward. That is minus one mm towards negative z axis. So this is our positive z-axis and this is our positive x-axis. The axis of the, the z-axis is coinciding with the axis of the component and this component is going to rotate along with the spindle. The tool movement will be transverse movement which is perpendicular to the axis of the machine in the case of turning. This is the orientation of the axis in the case of any of the turning CNC machine. X axis, I mean, x axis is the transverse movement of the tool, and the y axis, I mean, z axis is uh, parallel to the r along uh, r, and also the z axis is coinciding with the axis of the workpiece. This is exactly the geometry and the orientation of the axis, and where, uh, and we have also observed the where our origin lies. Let us write a program uh, to to uh, plane turn a 50 mm length then for a taper turning of 5 mm length. So G code and M codes, you are aware that the G codes and M codes, M codes are the miscellaneous rules, miscellaneous commands which are used to control the machine. Then the G codes are specific to the uh, movement of the tool which are related to the controlling the tool movements. By using G codes and M codes, Along with G codes and M codes, we have to use the tool commands as well as uh, the speed command, yes word, T word. Then we have coordinate words. Along by using all these words, in addition to the G codes and M codes, we can write a simple CNC part program to produce this component. Now, so this is actually the let us start the programming and 010. The sequential number of the block, a program consists number of blocks. A block is responsible to perform one operation on the machine tool. One action on the machine tool. It can be a rough cut, it can be a finish cut, it can be a turning, it can be any of the tapper turning, it can be drilling like that. So one block is responsible to perform one action on the CNC machine tool. So one block consists the number of words. So uh, word consists the characters. As you can see, as you can see, this is one block. The block is, is starting with one sequential number in turn that we can call it as a N word. N, indica N word indicates the sequence number of the block. So now you can see uh, we are starting program with N010. So N10. This indicates the sequence number of the block. So N10 is the sequence number of the block and then I am using Z90. Z90 means absolute programming. Whatever the coordinate values that I'm going to specify in this program will be absolute values. Absolute, as we have seen in our last sessions, in our previous sessions, what is absolute programming and what is incremental programming, absolute dimensioning and incremental dimensioning. We have seen in our last class, absolute programming or absolute dimensioning means with respect to origin, the coordinate values are going to vary. So one origin, with respect to one origin, all the coordinate values in the program is going to refer one origin that is uh, located either at the bottom left corner or somewhere else on the work plane. So one point, all the coordinate values are going to refer. With respect to that point, the coordinate values are going to be specified. So that is absolute uh, dimensioning. So to specify all the values, G90 is must. Then G71 uh, one, uh, is going to specify as the dimensioning in metric unit. 
So the values that I'm going to specify in this program is that all, all the values like feed, a depth of cut, and all the values are in a metric units. So millimeters or meters like that, all the values are in metric units. So that code, the required to instruct the mission, the code required to instruct the mission to specify all the values, to take all the values in the program as metric values, that code is G71. Then we have other code that is G95. So the while, cut, while performing cutting operation, we need to give the feed rate. So feed rate is in millimeters per revolution, as I said just now. Uh, that value is in millimeters per revolution or millimeters per minute also we can specify. If it is a turning machine, normally we are going to specify the feed rate. The unit of the feed is millimeters per revolution. That means how much distance the tool is advancing per revolution. The exact definition of the feed is how much distance the tool is advancing in one revolution. That is called feed. So if we write or if you specify G95, that indicates mm per revolution. The tool unit at the feed rate is mm per revolution. Next, so these three are very, very important to start a program. So starting sequential number. So G90, G75, G71, and G95 are included in one block. So that is 1010, sequence number 10. Let me move further to see or to write one more block. So N15. So this sequential number of the block need not be serial order. It may, it may be increments of 10, it may be increments of 100. So need not be in serial order. So in, in this program, I have specified increments of five. The first block sequential number is 10. The second block sequential number is 15. So which gives us some flexibility to edit the program. So suppose if we want to include one more sentence here, one more command here. So in that case, I am going to write one more block. I'm going to insert one more block between these two. Or in any, in any of the blocks we can include to increase the flexibility. So we are increment, we are writing the sequential numbers. So not in exact serial order. We are skipping or we are incrementing some value. So that we are going to write the sequence numbers in, in steps or the increments are the multiples of five or multiples of 10, like that we are going to write. So the, our second block number is N15, then G28, U00 and WG. G28, if we specify, we are instructing the tool, G28 will instruct the machine tool to bring the tool to the machine zero position. So where all the values will become zero are from that point onwards, are from that point, the, uh, are all the coordinate values in this uh, program is going to refer that point. So with respect to that point, we are fixing one origin point. So that means G28 means, suppose we have tools somewhere else on the work plane that will come to machine zero position. It will, stood at the, it will stand at that point. So U00, W00 is the values. So which indicates the machine zero position in X direction and this indicates the Z direction. So U0 indicates the X direction and W0 indicates the Z direction. So G28 is the G code or function used to bring the tool tool, bring the machine tool to the machine zero position. So after using this, then I move forward to change the tool. So to change the tool, we have one miscellaneous command that is M06 that you can see here. So we are instructing the machine to change the tool or to select the tool with T word, so T202. That means I'm going to use T202 tool uh, to perform the operations. So M06 is the command or the miscellaneous command or miscellaneous code used to change the tool, or T202. So using this M command or M, M code, I have changed the tool that is T202. Then I move forward to start the spindle. After selecting the tool, I need to start the spindle. So whether the spindle needs to rotate in clockwise direction or anti-clockwise direction, that also we need to specify. So to specify 
the direction of the spindle, we have one miscellaneous command. M03 is one command to specify the direction of the rotation of the spindle. M03 is the miscellaneous code to specify the spindle rotation in clockwise direction. So with this command, I use one more command, one, one more code that is S code to specify with how much speed that spindle needs to rotate. That spindle speed is 2500 I'm specifying here with the S word. S2500 will tell the will instruct the machine tool to rotate with 2500 rpm in clock in clockwise direction so that i am using m03 now our spindle is rotating with 2500 rpm and we have a tool in tool post that tool is t202 then we are at the machine zero position we are also specified the uh, programming in what way whether it is absolute or the uh, incremental then the dimensions are in matrix feed rate we are specified whether it is in millimeters per revolution or the uh, mm per minute like that we are specified let me move further to perform the operations actual operation operations so now i am bringing tool to x22 first so our tool is at zero zero position or somewhere else on the plane then I am bringing tool to X21 position, X22 here. So original dimension or the diameter of this block is 20. I am assuming 2 mm approach distance along X and as well as Z axis. This is my assumption. So while performing actual operation, the tool should be 2 mm away from the work surface. As you can see, the diameter of the workpiece is 20 millimeters. So that I am moving tool two millimeters away from the workplace. That means 22 millimeters away from the axis. So in an overall diameter, overall diameter is 20. Then the uh, approach distance is two millimeters so that the X distance is X coordinate value is 22 millimeters that you can see. Now my tool is exactly at this location. Let me locate with the annotation. Okay, now originally before machining my tool is at this location this is 22 millimeters with respect to the axis so this is the two millimeters approach distance is two millimeters now after bringing tool to 22 millimeters just by placing the tool at 22 millimeters i am moving uh, i am moving minus one distance I'm moving minus one distance to the negative Z axis towards negative Z axis. Now, let me see, let, let me show you uh, minus because the first operation to be performed on this component is a facing operation for a depth for a length of one millimeter. Uh, facing operation reduces the length, right? So I need to move the tool towards negative Z axis by one millimeter you know so initially my tool is at this location 22 millimeters at this location then i am moving towards negative z, z axis by one millimeter so my tool will lie at this location now this is actual diameter this is two millimeters approach distance then one millimeter this is zero zero z zero now at this line the z value is zero now i am moving z minus one so this is our zero zero point i am moving one mm so here the z value is minus one so now my tool is exactly at this location the coordinate values are at this location my coordinate values are x is equal to 22 then z is equal to minus one now as you can see in this figure also the program let me move to the program to see how coordinates are specified as you can see g00 so everything i am taking a new block uh, n30 block will tell us to move the tool x22 that means the tool will move rapidly to the x coordinate value that is x22 22 value the tool will move then i am moving tool to minus one distance towards negative z axis you can see here 
So now my tool is at exactly at this location. So these two movements will be in rapid mode because these, in this case, we are not performing any actual work. No cutting action will take place during these movements. Hence, the movement will be in rapid mode. G00 is a command used to move the tool in rapid mode. While moving the tool from 00 to X22, I have used G00. And while moving the tool from X22 to minus one towards negative Z axis also I have used G00. So after keeping the tool, then I need to move the tool to X0 value. So my tool is now at this location. Now I need to move forward. Now I need to move forward or up to X0, up to X value zero to complete facing operation to complete facing operation. So you can see, so if I'm able to move the tool from here to X0, then the facing operation will complete. This is exactly on this line, the X value is zero and Z value is minus one. So the destination coordinates of the tool is X value is zero and Z is equal to minus one. So if the tool moves this, I mean, to this coordinate, the facing operation will be completed. So after moving the tool to X0 and Z minus one, I will move rightwards to the tool. So without, I mean, if I come back in the same path, the tool will touch to the machined surface, the surface will spoil. In turn, the tool tip may touch the work surface so that the work may spoil. To avoid that, I'm moving rightwards, two mm. 2 mm rightwards to the or the 2 mm positive z axis side. As you can see, uh, I'm closing this now. Uh, now, 2 mm. Now I'm moving tool in rapid mode to z 2 mm towards positive z axis direction. This is minus one. Now it is plus one. That means I have moved tool towards positive z axis 2 mm, 2 millimeters. And from that point, from that point, my intention is to turn the block so that I am moving tool. Uh, initially, I am reducing the diameter of this block to 16 millimeters, from 20 to 16 millimeters. Hence, I am moving the tool to 16 millimeters. So, so from here, from here, the tool will come to, from here, the tool will come to 16 millimeters, exactly. Now my tool is at this location. So Z is equal to one here, positive one here. I'm moving exactly 16 millimeters from the axis. X is equal to here, the X coordinate value, X coordinate is 16. So by moving this tool, so after moving the tool to X is equal to positive 16, then my next step is why I am leaving, even though the final diameter to be produced on the work component or the work piece is 15, even though I am leaving one millimeter diameter on this component, I am leaving one millimeter for finish cut. In a single pass, I am uh, cutting this in a rapid mode or a speed mode. And I'm in turn, you can call it as a rough cut machining. So I'm moving the tool leftwards with 16 millimeter diameter for a length of 15 millimeters towards negative Z axis. Now you can see here, now you can see, I'm erasing this now. Then now you can see. So after coming, after moving tool to X16, then I am moving. Then I am moving negative Z axis, negative Z axis, uh, that is towards left side with a feed rate of 0 0.5, 0 0.5 millimeters per revolution. That is in linear mode. That is in linear mode. The tool movement is in linear mode. So while cutting, while, while performing the cutting operation, the tool needs to move the linear mode, in the linear mode. In this case also, you can observe here, while performing, while moving the tool from negative Z axis, that value is minus one, 
z minus 1 to x 0 0 uh, in that case x 22 to x 0 0 with z minus 1 the field rate is 0 0.1 so i'm using the field rate as 0 0.1 means it is a finish cut that means the final surface is left as a uh, as a machine as a, as a finished component that means we are not going to perform any operation on on that surface or the leftover surface so that i am using the feed rate as 0 0.1 in this case in the finishing up in, in the facing operation so now you see here we have uh, we are also moving tool during the turning operation while moving the tool to the leftwards or the negative z axis to perform the turning operation now you can see the value is z minus 16 and the field rate is 0 0.5 so by using 0 0.5 mm for revolution that means the tool is going to advance tool is going to move 0 0.5 mm per revolution during turning operation or while moving tool from uh, z minus 1 or the z positive 1 to z positive 1 to uh, z minus 60 okay so that the total distance is z minus 60 by giving feed rate f 0 0.5 this completes the turning operation to reduce the diameter from 20 to 16 mm for a length of 15 millimeters after reducing the diameter from 20 to 16 millimeters for a length of 15 then we need to reduce the diameter from 16 to 15 for a uh, for by using depth of cut 0.1 for a length of 15 this is called finish cut now you can also observe here after turning in 16 millimeters after reducing the uh, diameter from 20 to 16 now our tool is at this location exactly x is equal to 16 now i am moving backwards to 2 mm that means x is equal to 18 then after moving backwards to 2 millimeters i am coming back to the so front side of the workpiece that is z1 so exactly our origin is at this location we are moving 1 mm in front of the origin or 2 mm in front of the facing operation that we did in last operation so in front of the tool so we are at uh, we are at 2 millimeters and 16 millimeters x value x value is 16 and z is equal to now my intention is to reduce to 15 millimeters so i am moving i am moving tool from 16 to i am moving the tool from 16 x 16 and z2 to x x 15 so from here to here i am moving uh, for by giving depth of cut 0 0.1 if we give depth of cut 0 0.1 the in an overall diameter reduces to 15 16 to 15 0.5 0.5 in radius side or in the diameter side so in turn the reduces the block diameter 20 to 15. now after bringing tool to 15 mm diameter or now after bringing tool at an x distance that is 15 now we need to perform actual turning operation from 15 to uh, negative z axis side minus 15 so towards negative z, z axis we need to move uh, minus 15 so now you can see uh, minus 15 means already we have positive one here and negative one here so that means uh, 15 mm distance we need to move so this you can see here so z16 that means already we have positive one here so we have one value here then 15 here so total distance is 16 z needs to be moved minus 16 distance so to complete turning operation for a length of 15 we need to move the tool for 15 mm negative distance it is 2 2 mm and uh, 2 2 is here and 16 and totally it may be 17 i hope so now this distance to be moved by the move, move distance to move the tool along 
z axis will become 17 here now because already we have already we have one value here totally it will be 16 then already we have 1 mm distance in front of the tool so that totally total distance to be moved is x total distance to be moved is 17 but whereas the distance to be moved is minus 16 only distance to be moved is minus 16 only overall length to be moved is 17 millimeters however the program is correct here then let me move so this <coughs> this movement is in linear mode as you can see moving tool to the 2 mm in front of the uh, workpiece is also rapid mode the movement of the tool to move the tool along x axis at a distance 60 16 millimeters is also rapid mode then actual turning of uh, during the actual turning operation the mode the mode of tool movement is in linear mode that you can see z01 i have used this is actually the rough cut turning then i need to move the tool backwards then i need, now exactly the diameter of the component is reduced from 20 to 15 millimeters now my tool is exactly at this lo location uh, the x value is 15 and z value is 16 minus 16 that you can observe here so the coordinates uh, exactly at this location is uh, x value is 15 z value is minus 16 that you can see after completing the turning operation our tool lies at that coordinate now i need to perform the tab turning operation as you can see uh, now i am coming back to mm from here i am coming back to mm backwards x along x axis 16 to 18 and along z axis i am coming and i'm along it z axis i am coming one millimeter now we can see along one millimeter so we have the other program also okay then we are reduced the diameter from uh, this is facing operation then we have reduced from 16 20 to 20 to 16 then 16 to 15 we have reduced here so now our tool is exactly at this location 15 so we have reduced to 15 the x coordinate is 15 and z coordinate is minus 16. let me move further to perform the turning operation i mean tapper turning operation. now you can see so this up to here the tool is going to move minus 16 that means we are completed the uh, finishing operation to reduce the diameter from 15 to 16 to 15 for a length of minus 16 by moving tool to negative along negative z axis that value is minus 60. Now our intention is to reduce or to perform the tapper turning operation for a length of five millimeter. I'm coming back, I'm coming back, back one mm along x-axis, one mm along x-axis. Now you can see we're at this location, one mm along x-axis. Now one mm along x-axis, then along z axis minus 15 i mean initially z is minus 16 we are moving rightwards 1 mm and backwards 1 mm as you can see in this figure backwards 1 mm that means 16 x is equal to 16 and z is equal to minus 15 you can see here 1 mm we are coming back now we need to perform the actual Tapper turning operation. After moving x mm one one mm backwards, then z one mm rightwards along z axis, we have moved one mm distance along x axis. We are moved one mm distance. Then we need to move x is equal to twenty one. Then z is equal to twenty one. 
with a feed rate of 0.2 this is actually the rough cut finishing we can use either we can use f 0.5 because the feed rate is limited to 0.5 feed rate is limited to 0.5 it should not be exceed 0.5 in this case we are using 0.2 the maximum value is 0.5 i am using a 0.2 here now the tool is moving from 16 minus 15 to 21 minus 21 exactly at this location our tool is going to move exactly 16 minus 15 16 to 21 and 21 z is equal to 21 and x is equal to 21 so some amount of material will be will be taken off from the component now still some amount of material is left on the tapered portion that also needs to be removed as you can see after moving tool to 2020 our tool is uh, 2121 i'm moving towards x20 and z20 now uh, we are at x21 and z minus 21 i am moving forward x20 minus z minus 20 to x15 and z minus 16 with a feed rate of 0 0.1 the final left door material will be removed from the component at this location at this location so this completes the turning operation then we need to bring the tool we need to send back the tool to the machine zero position finally we need to stop the spindle by using uh, m code that is m05 we are going to stop the spindle and finally we will stop the program this the codes used to stop the spindle as well as stop the program is m05 and m30 we are we are stopping the spindle and we are stopping the program this completes the turning operation of which includes the which includes the tapper turning which includes tapper turning as well as the plane turning. This is also a very important problem for the beginners to write the part program, CNC part program. Then let me move further to see one more example program. This is one example. Let me read problem first. Write a CNC program to move the tool through the points A, B, C, D, and A. Or tool path specified in the figure shown below to get the desired shape, assuming the following cutting parameters. In this problem, is asking us to move the tool through the specified points. As you can see in this figure, the diameter, the maximum diameter of the component is the IT. The IT mm diameter needs to be reduced to 50 mm diameter for a length of 30 mm and the remaining portion that is 20 mm needs to be tapper turned then in this case is not specified the depth of cut or anything we specified only the feed and the spindle speed so using these spindle speed and feed feed rate we need to we need to perform the plane turning as well as the tapper turning these are the values given to us then our intention is to move the tool from a to b then b to c c to d and finally the tool needs to reach a point and from the a point the tool needs to move back to the machine zero position this is exactly the spindle speed is 3000 rp and feed rate is 0.05 millimeters per revolution but here the depth of cut is more that's why the feed rate is very very less you can see here 0 0.05 or sometimes 0 0.01 is also preferred because here the depth of cut is more hence the uh, feed rate is very very less and the spindle speed is more now let us move forward to as you can see the tool is exactly at this location 
the coordinate values are 50 50 now the x coordinate is 50 z coordinate is also 50 now our tool is at this location somewhere exactly the tool may be machine zero location but from that machine zero to we need to bring the tool to 50 50 location x 50 and z 50 location from a to b so but here the coordinate values are 50 coordinate values are 50 and the value is z coordinate value is 0 50 0 and from 50 0 to here the x value is 50 and z value is 30 50 30 then we need to move tool from 50 30 to the up to the d coordinate the coordinate values of the d are as you can see it is uh, x coordinate is 80 z coordinate is 50 and finally we need to move tool from d to a this is what the movement you can see now let us specify the absolute programming uh, dimensioning in matrix feed rate in mm per revolution then bring the tool to the machine zero position then select the tool by using tool change command m06 here the tool number is 102 then rotate the spindle in clockwise direction using by specifying spindle speed the specified spindle speed is in this problem is 3000 rpm okay then uh, then move the tool in a rapid mode move the tool in rapid mode to point a from 00 to point a that is 50 50 x is equal to 50 and z is equal to 50 then then we move the tool to here already we have x is equal to 50 okay and z must be moved to zero from z 50 here the z value is 50 here now now let us move this tool to x 50 x is already 50 here x is already 50 here then we have to move z to zero so that means we have to move z to zero z zero location z zero then z minus 30 here the diameter is 50 we have already specified 50 here okay we have already specified 50 here then towards negative z axis we need to move 30 mm so exactly our tool is at this location then uh, here the coordinate values of b is x value is 50 and z value is 0 from 50 0 to as you can see 50 0 to then we need to move towards negative z axis for a length of minus 30 you can see here minus 30 we are moving by specifying in linear mode with a feed rate of 0 0.05 so the turning auction takes place the moment we move the tool from b to c the diameter of the component reduces from 80 to 50 we need to assume in that way however this uh, in a single pass it is not advised to reduce the diameter from 80 to 50 we can take the multi pass cut we can use multi pass cut to reduce the diameter in steps okay then let me move the tool from c to d as you can see c to d now exactly we are at this location then move the tool from c to d what are the coordinates so after moving uh, the tool from uh, exactly now we are at minus 30 z is minus 30 x is 50 you can see z is minus 30 this is our origin z is minus 30 x is 50 here so from this point again we need to move to d the d coordinate x value is 80 and z value is 50 now i am moving 80 and 50 with a feed rate of 0 0.05 in linear mode g0 g01 in both the cases while moving tool from b to c and while moving tool from c to d in both the cases we are using g01 g01 is a code used to move the tool in linear mode in both the cases in a straight line path the tool is moving so this is what the tool will perform the plane turning as well as tapper turning 
And finally, we need to move the tool from D to A. This is also one step. The coordinates of A is 50-50. You can specify in rapid mode. From D to A, the tool is moving in rapid mode 50 and 50. Finally, the tool moves to D to A. Then from this point, the tool should be moved to the machine zero location to instruct the machine to move the tool to the machine zero location, G00, G28, U0, and W0. This is also very, very important. Step two, send back the tool to the machine zero location. So where all the values will become zero, where the, the program values may refer or may not refer, but we have some reference point there. Then we are stopping the spindle, then we are stopping the program. Finally, we are stopping the spindle and stopping the program. This will happen in this case. So in this program, we have seen moving the tool from one location to another location, then moving back tool to the uh, machine zero location. This, this is a very simple program to move tool to the different location to perform plane and tapper turning. Then we have also seen the plane turning and tapper turning by giving rough cut finishing, rough cut, rough cut turning, and as well as finish cut turning. In both the cases, we have removed some amount of material for a length of 15 mm here. Even in the tapper turning, also, we have done multi-pass cutting. In both the cases, we have done multi-pass cutting. During tapper turning, we reduce the diameter from 20 to 16 first, from 16 to 15 by giving feed rate of 0 0.1. 0 .1. 0 0.1. We have reduced the diameter by giving a 0 0.1 feed rate from 16 to 15. These two problems we have seen in this problem, these are also very, very important problems and simple programs, uh, which gives you very good practice. Then in the next session, we will discuss, I hope we can close the programming part here. And these are similar programs you can practice. And uh, in the next class, I start the um, robotics part or other next chapter that is sixth chapter in the curriculum that is robotics and automation in the next chapter i will discuss robotics and automation part uh, along with that we will also see the other contents very thank you thank you one and all for this session i will stop the session here we will meet once again